Hello Grade 7 learners! Have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about changing rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form. Before we go on with changing fraction to decimal, let us try to understand first what is rational number. Okay. Rational number is a number that can be expressed as quotient a over b of two integers. In other words, rational number is a number that can be written as fraction. The integer a here is the numerator while the integer b is the denominator. And remember that b cannot be equal to zero because once the denominator is equal to zero, it will become undefined. Now let's have some of the examples of rational number and its corresponding fraction form. So we have here three, of course, the fraction form of three is three over one. Whole number has a denominator of one. Negative four, fraction form is negative four over one. Zero is zero over one. We have here two thirds. Of course, it is equal to two-third, negative three-fifth. Its fraction form also is negative three over five. Three-tenths, we have three over ten. We'll discuss further about this when we'll be having the video on changing decimal to fraction. Let's have the first example. Express three-fourth in decimal form. The numerator 3 will become the dividend and the denominator 4 will become the divisor. Now let's begin with the division process. 3 divided by 4, that is equal to 0. It cannot be. So what are we going to this? We have to add decimal point and 0. Not forget. We have to add 0, but before that, let's have the decimal point so that you will not forget. In our quotient part, we have to write also the decimal point. Now, we're going to divide. Okay. 30 divided by 4 is 7. Next, multiply. 7 times 4, that is equal to 28. Next, subtract. So 30 minus 28 is 2. Next, we have to add another 0. Bring down the 0. Then divide. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Multiply again. So, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Subtract. 20 minus 20 is 0. So, it means that the decimal form of 3 fourth is equal to 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. So this is now the decimal form of 3 fourth. Now let's have another example. Express 3 and 4 fifth in decimal form. If you have observed, 3 and 4 fifth is mixed number. Before we're going to change this into decimal form, we have to change this one first into improper fraction. The question is how? Just multiply the denominator part 5 by 3. 5 times 3, 15, plus 4, 19. Okay, and then copy the denominator part which is 5 so therefore 3 and 4 fifth is just equal to 
19 over 5. So we are going now to make use of 19 over 5 in our division process. So 19 is the dividend while 5 is the divisor. Let's begin. 19 divided by 5 is 3. Next, multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract. 19 minus 15 is 4. Now, let's add 0. Before we're going to add 0, do not forget that to write the decimal point. So, we have here a decimal point as well as decimal point in our quotient. Okay, so we have now 0, bring down 0. So, 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Now, let's subtract 40 minus 40 is 0. So, therefore, the decimal form of 3 and 4 fifth is just equal to 3 and 8 tenths. Example number 1 and 2 are what we call terminating decimals. If you have observed, they terminate, meaning they have an end. Okay. Now let's have the third example. Express 4 over 9 in decimal form. So the same process of examples number 1 and 2. 4 will become the dividend while 9 is our divisor. Now let's divide. 4 divided by 9 is 0. So we have to add decimal point and zero so we have here decimal point and do not forget also the decimal point in the quotient part 40 divided by 9 is equal to 4 next we have to multiply 4 times 9 is equal to 36 subtract 40 minus 36 that is equal to 4 now we have to add another zero, then bring down this zero here. So we have 40 divided by 9 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. So subtract again, 40 minus 36 is 4. Add another zero, then bring down it here. So 40 divided by 9 is 4 again times 9 is 36 subtract 40 minus 36 is equal to 4 add another 0 and then bring down it here so 40 divided by 9 is 4 4 times 9 is 36 then we have to subtract 40 minus 36 is 4 so if you have observed in our quotient part, 4 is the repeated digit. And if we're going to continue this, we have the same answer, which is equal to 4. So we'll have to stop up to 4 decimal places. And then because this type of decimal is what we call repeating decimal. So we can now conclude that 4 over 9 is just equal to 0. 0.44. If you have observed, we have here a symbol, a bar over the number, and this is what we call vinculum. Vinculum. Okay. Vinculum. Okay, vinculum. Vinculum is used to denote 
that the digits 44 is being repeated. Okay? Or, it can also be written in this way. 0 0.4444. And then after that, we have here three dots. And this three dots is what we call ellipsis. 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 It shows that it's not yet an end. It's still continuous. Okay. Now let's have another example, number four. So express 5 over 33 in decimal form, the same process. 5 is our dividend. 33 is our divisor. Now divide 5 divided by 33, so that is, of course, 0. So we have to add 0 before that. Do not forget to write the decimal point here in our quotient. So we have here 50 divided by 33 is equal to 1. Multiply 1 times 33 is 33. 50 minus 33 is equal to 17. Add another 0 here. Next, bring down 0. Then 170 divided by 33. That is equal to 5. Multiply 5 times 33 that is equal to 165 now let's subtract 170 minus 165 that is equal to 5 let's add another zero here so we have to bring down also the zero here then 50 divided by 33 that is 1 multiply 1 times 33 is 33 subtract 50 minus 33 is 17 let's add another zero and bring down the zero here so 170 divided by 33 is equal to 5 5 times 33 is 165 if you have observed we have also a pattern here in our quotient 1 5 and 1 5 now if we're going to subtract 170 by 165 we still have 5 so meaning to say if we're going to continue this we will have again 1 and then 5 1 5 so meaning to say the digits 1 and 5 will be repeated so we'll end up to four decimal places and we will conclude that this type of decimal is a repeating decimal. Therefore, we can now have a conclusion that 5 over 33 is just equal to 0 0.15 repeating. Again, we are using here a vinculum or 0 0.1515. And after that, we have here an ellipsis, meaning to say that it's repeating. So, this is now our answer. This type of decimals, what I have said, they are repeating decimals. Here, 4 is being repeated and here, 1, 5 is being repeated. Now, let's have the last example. Express 7 of our 13 in decimal form. So, we have here... 7 as our dividend and 13 as our divisor. 7 divided by 13 is, of course, 0. So we have to add 0 in our dividend. Before that, do not forget to put a decimal point as well as the decimal point here in our quotient part. So now we have 70. 70 divided by 13 is equal to 5. Now multiply 5 times 13. So 5 times 13 is equal to 65. 70 minus 65 is equal to 5. 
add another zero here then bring down zero so we have 50 50 divided by 13 is 3 3 times 13 is 39 50 minus 39 is equal to 11 now let's have to add another zero here then bring down the zero so we have 110 divided by 13 is equal to 8 8 times 13 is 104 110 minus 104 is 6 now let's have to add another zero in our dividend then bring down zero here so we have 60 divided by 13 is equal to 4 4 times 13 is 52 60 minus 52 is 8 so if you have observed we have now four decimal places we can end up to here because this type of decimal is non-terminating and non-repeating we'll just round it off to the nearest thousands so therefore our answer is 0 0.538 why we have 0 0.538 as what they have said we are going to round off our answer so this is our quotient part after 8 is 4 so since if you have a number of 4 and below it means you will just copy this number 538 and if in case this is 5 to 9, then we are going to add 1 to this digit. So our answer or the decimal form of 7 over 13 is 0.538. Again, this is an example of non-terminating and non-repeating decimal. It will not repeat and it will not end or terminate thank you so much for watching guys kindly like or if you have questions just write it in the comment box kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson and please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications before i end let me share one of the verses from the bible O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalms 107 verse 1. That's all for today and God bless you all.